Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. On iTunes, one word, Dwyer Boxing News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. As I noted in an earlier video, there's a crisis right now with the Houston Texans. Make no mistake, it is a crisis. They looked about as bad as you could possibly look in the first game of the preseason during a new coach's tenure, right? They got beaten up. They got dominated on both sides of the ball by the Arizona Cardinals week one. They lost 32 to nothing. Now we've heard about how the new coach, Bill O'Brien, is supposed to be a disciplinarian. He's supposed to get guys playing for him and all this other stuff. But understand some key players on the Texans are not happy, right? Namely, Andre Johnson, perhaps their best player on offense. Now the Texans, in my opinion, need this game. Their upcoming week two of the preseason game more than the Atlanta Falcons. Understand the Falcons won last week, right? They beat the Miami Dolphins, right? So the Falcons already know that they can win preseason games. Also, the Falcons have a long-standing coach. They don't have a new coach, right? In my opinion, the Houston Texans need to go all out in week two to assuage fans and to keep Bill O'Brien's credibility going in the locker room. I'm telling you, another disaster like last week, if Houston gets shut out again, if we're talking about the Texan offense as a group that's missing in action at the end of this game, I think heads are going to roll. Now, Houston, quite frankly, has a great offensive line. They really are good. They have more talent than, let's say, the Atlanta Falcon defensive front. Notably, Dwayne Brown, Chris Myers, and Brandon Brooks are pretty good offensive linemen. They also have Arian Foster running the football. They have a rushing game. They have the kind of rushing game where, in the preseason, not the regular season, but in the preseason, if they needed to go out there and make a statement and win a game, you know, having their A-level, their starters, playing for a sizable portion of the first half, I would say this is the game in which that's going to happen. Let me also point out, too, that they're going to want to have their rookies on the field, right? They're going to want to have the rookie acclimate to the speed of the game in the NFL. Now, they have Jadavian Clowney, and he did look good week one. I'm expecting Jadavian Clowney and J.J. Watt to make a statement in this game. Right? Watch the kind of team leader who is not going to let the team slide that far. Right, So, I believe that it's do or die time in Houston. I know it's early. I know it's the second week of the preseason. But I believe a statement needs to be made by the Houston Texans. I'm expecting Houston to beat Atlanta in part because of their offensive line and also because they need the game more. Right right now, Houston is favored by three points. I like Houston laying the three points over the Atlanta Falcons this week. The game goes off this Saturday. Let me hear from you. Share information with me and other gamblers here in the comment section to this video here on YouTube. Okay, let us know how you see this or other preseason games, right? But make no mistake, I believe Bill O'Brien needs to draw a line in the sand. His team played so poorly 
last week that he needs to stop the bleeding. I don't even believe he can afford a loss. Keep in mind, too, the Atlanta Falcons have some key injuries at certain positions, Julio Jones, for example, and Atlanta has a lack of depth. So I don't believe they're going to jeopardize right, Matt Ryan by keeping him in the game too long. They don't want to go into the regular season with Chase Daniel as their number one quarterback. Right, so I'm expecting Houston to take the game much more seriously than Atlanta. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.